Hello there, crypto wisers. It's your old friend Milton. I'm back. Today we got to talk about Web3 gaming, crypto gaming. This is going to be a huge, huge part of the next bull run. But I'm here to tell you in today's video that it is here now. This is not something you have to wait for down the line. This is here now. Web3 gaming is here now. I'm going to prove it with a project that is completely on fire, on fuego. Okay, but before I get into that project, do me a favor, of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you're new to CryptoWise, welcome. We've been making videos for almost three years now, I guess it's been, but we have been on hiatus the last little while, and I only started making videos again last week, so we really need your help to help people find the channel, so please like and subscribe if you have not already, and follow us over on Twitter, aka x at crypto wise guys that's right at crypto wise guys make sure you're following us there we're going to do a lot of content on x as well all right guys let's jump right in because i am so excited about this video today had to be a project video this project deserves its own video and i am talking about photo finish live we're talking about crypto gaming and it is alive and well on Solana right now with Photo Finish Live. Okay, what is Photo Finish Live? If you've never heard of it, this is a video for you. If you're already into it, this is a video for you to celebrate what is the biggest name in crypto gaming today. To me, this is the best study so far in how crypto gaming can work. The tokenomics, amazing. The gameplay, amazing. The community, amazing. Okay, so far, so good. They have done everything right so far. Now, this happens to be a game that I am part of. I'm in, I've been playing it. I've been part of this from the very beginning when they launched the very first NFT collection on Solana. But I wanna know from you guys, what games are you playing? What games have I not heard about yet that are out there like Photo Finish Live that you can play right now, that have a community behind them, that have great tokenomics? I want to know about all of them. Let me know in the comments on this video. I want to, I want to learn everything there is to know about Web3 Gaming right now. I think it is going to be huge going into the next bull run. And the reason I think that is because my experience with Photo Finish Live. It is no more just a theory that crypto gaming can work it works okay this game proves it so essentially photo finish live is just a horse racing ecosystem if you're in a horse racing in real life you will love this game it is essentially everything there is to about horse racing in real life is now in digital form okay they have done such an excellent job at basically putting in all the elements that make horse racing great and have made it great for years and years and years and put it into game form. So I'm gonna talk through all about the game, how you can get started, the tokenomics of all the tokens involved, different strategy elements of the game. But first I wanna take you back, all the way back over here to Magic Eden, because this is how it all started, okay? It was a PFP collection. It was just your average, regular, animal PFP, NFT collection on Solana. From the very beginning, they announced that it was gonna be part of this game and this ecosystem. And that's why everyone was excited about it and invested in it and bought the NFTs if you did. But I just love that they used the NFT collection using the animal cartoon, which was, you know, the big craze in the last NFT craze were these animal cartoons, profile pictures. And they did two collections. So they did a male collection, 10,000 of those, and 5,000 of the female. And these NFTs had a, a few different utilities to them, but the very most important one was that these NFTs would be able to breed the very first horses for the photo finish live game. And I got to admit something right here and right now. One of my greatest regrets in crypto, guys, okay, because I invested a lot into these NFTs. I had a whole bunch of these photo finish PFP collection. I was so excited to breed. I had, uh, you know, I had a lot of rare ones that I was kind of collecting. I had matching up my women and my men who, they, who I was gonna breed together. And then I went away during the breeding period. I wasn't paying attention to crypto. 
I didn't think there was a deadline. I had no idea that there was a deadline to be able to breed these things. I missed the breeding, guys. I am so regretful because I was so excited for this. I was so pissed off that I was not able to breed my PFPs. Thankfully, uh, the team behind the game and stuff have given new utility to the, these collections, so all that money invested and stuff has not been a huge waste, but I am very disappointed that I did not, I was not able to breed my, my horses for the very first generation zero of horses for the game. Okay, I will come back and talk about this collection, this NFT collection still, because there is still a good reason to pick yourself up a couple of these NFTs if you have not already, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. First, let's just go through the game, the basic elements of it, how you play, and how you can get started. Okay, so the website is photofinish.live. That's what I'm on here right now. That is the game. That's where you need to go to to sign up. So as you can see here, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening to the podcast, don't worry about it. Just go to photofinish.live and you will see this right away. Basically just showing an example of what the game looks like. So this was one of the races that went on today. As you can see, the graphics are amazing. The team behind this used to work at EA Sports. So they were, uh, I know they worked on the Madden football game, but they worked on a few other games there. So you can see the, the gameplay, the, the graphics of the horse racing is uh, top notch, best, best in, in, in league right now, I think. Now, what's interesting about this game is that it's more of a strategy game then it is a player game because when the race goes on you're just watching you know your horse has different uh, strengths and weaknesses there's an algorithm behind it you're going up against other people's horses and all you get to do is just watch your horse race it's not like you have a joystick and you're on there and you're pressing pressing buttons trying to make it go faster or anything when you race your horse it's just simulate it's a simulated race based on all the algorithms and there's a bit of luck involved there too your horse will do either well or badly depending depending on the race. And we'll go into all the different attributes that your horse can be good at and all the, all the different elements because certain horses are better on dirt, some are better on turf, some are better in the rain, some are better when uh, the weather's nice. So there's all sorts of elements that go into uh, dictating who, what horse is gonna do well in each race. And then obviously each horse is also graded and there are some horses that are just naturally better than other horses. So let's just go into uh, a bit of a guide into this game. Uh, there was one already created here that uh, did a really good job at summing all this up. So this is on Medium. Uh, the person who wrote this is Horse Racing Capital. So give this person a follow if you are on Medium. I'm just going to go through uh, his guide here that he has and go through the, kind of the main elements just to give you an idea if you're not already on the game how you can get yourself started. First thing you got to do is you have to go to that photofinish.live and create an account for yourself. You just sign up like any other website. You know, create yourself an account, a password. Definitely, if you're going to play this game, I recommend highly putting on some um, authentication, um, you know, two-factor authentication onto your account because people have been losing some of their assets on there now that the value is going up. Make sure that you protect your account. Step two, buy Derby. Okay, so this is a good chance for me to go into some of the tokenomics of the game. The game has two tokens. I actually think this is a this is really a brilliant concept that they've come up with to that has really helped the game. So they got two tokens attached to the game. The first is Derby and the second is Crown. I'm going to come back and talk about this a little bit later in the video in more detail, but just know that there is Crown and there is Derby. The first one you want is Derby because that is what you need in the game. Once you're signed up in the game, you go to Fund Wallet, and in the game, you can use your credit card or you can use crypto using either a Phantom Wallet or a Soul Flare Wallet. Now, if you're not in Solana yet, you do need a Solana Wallet. I recommend the Phantom Wallet. It's actually my favorite wallet in all of crypto. Sorry, MetaMask. I know you're pretty amazing, but Phantom is a great wallet. That's the one I use. Highly recommend using that as well. But as it says here, you can just use your credit card if you don't... Uh, 
don't want to actually get into the Solana and buying um, buying tokens on Solana and transferring them over, you don't need to do that. Anyone with a credit card can play this game. You can use your credit card and just buy some Derby. So Derby is, you'll get 80 Derby for every dollar. And that is a stable price of Derby that will never change. For every dollar you put in, you get 80 Derby. The next thing you can or cannot do because there are different ways of playing this game or being involved in the game. One way you can get involved, and I do think that this is probably the best way to get involved, is buy yourself a horse. So when you go to photofinish.live, in on here in the side here is the menu. And if you go to marketplace, this is where all the horses are sold. The game in-game horses are sold here. All sorts of ways to filter them. You can go, this is by most recently listed and all the prices. So all the horses are sold in Derby. So that's why you need to get yourself some Derby is because Derby is the token that is used for all the game in game play. So buying a horse, uh, registering for a race, that's all done in Derby. Betting on a race, that is done in Derby. So as you can see here, the most list, uh, so let's just say this one, for example, is rated A minus. So this was just put up for sale. It just raced, obviously, because it says here it's exhausted. So it can, every time you race your horse, you have to wait a while for it to uh, rest up before you can race it again. And this one can race again in 18 hours. It's ranked 80, uh, A minus. It's got a 52 rating here, a race rating. And then right here, these are different attributes that each horse might or may be better at than others so this one is right so does your horse like to turn right or left in a race and it's one two or three stars so the more stars it has in that category the better it is so this one is definitely prefers racing uh turning to the right prefers racing on dirt instead of turf and likes it when the dirt is actually softer instead of harder so in that case you would probably want to race this horse when it was raining instead of dry and sunny so it's age two i'm going to talk about all this a little bit more but this uh, horse is age two right now so you can race this horse right now horses can be raced from two a uh, year two to year eight and the cost of this horse would be just under thirty five thousand derby now Let's have a look at this one here, just for example. This is what they call a foul. So it is too young to race. So see, it says it can race in two seasons. So the fouls are a little bit cheaper just because you have to wait before you can race them. And then there are also some, so if we go and filter this by the lowest to the highest price, we will see some that are already retired. So in order to breed your horse, it has to be retired. And that's what, if you'll see, if he says it says retired, you cannot race that horse anymore. All it can do is breed. And, and those ones tend to be cheaper because all you can do is breed with them. So anyway, that is there, the marketplace. That's where you would go and check out the horses and get yourself one. Now, in this guide, he does go in more detail, talks about the the grading and the fleet figure number, which is its kind of race. Uh, the more you race, it does well. That will go up or down. Um, and it talks about the ages. Now, I'll talk a little bit here about the filly or the colt. So there are male and female horses in the game. So just keep that in mind if you're buying a male horse and just in terms of breeding. So we can talk about breeding here. And between seasons is when the breeding starts and then it stops when the season starts. So there is a in between season, there's always a time in which you can breed uh, more horses for the game. So what happens is if you own a male horse and you, if you retire it, you can put it up for stud and it will breed. So you can charge uh, people to breed with your horse. So you can see these are, so S plus right now is one of the highest in the game. And these right now are retired and you can see people can breed uh, with these S plus horses if they want. If you own a filly, so if you own the female horse and you want to breed, then you get to keep the horse that is bred by the female. Now, if you're if you only uh, own the male horse, then you put it up 
to uh, and people pay you to breed with your male horse, but you don't get to keep the offspring. Only the female horse gets to keep the offspring. So that is a difference there. So you will notice in the marketplace, it's much more expensive to buy uh, a female than it is to buy a male horse. Um, so as you can see, this filly here, for example, is on uh, for 5 million derby. Um, but uh, yeah, so generally it is more expensive to get a female horse for that reason. I'll just go through the attributes just really quickly. So these are the attributes that each horse is either good or bad at. So there is the start. Are they good at the start of a race? If they are, they will probably be better at, say, shorter races, you would think. Speed, obviously, stamina, those would obviously, you would think, be better for a longer horse or a longer race. Those would be better for a longer race. Finish, so some horses are really good at the, at the finish and, and really kind of like bringing it on at the end. Heart, temper, just to keep in mind in terms of the attributes, these attributes are hidden until you retire the horse. So when you're racing the horse, you actually don't know these attributes. So you kind of have to put it in different races to see how it does and watch your horse. And you'll get to kind of know your horse, how it does in different races. And you can kind of guess on what the attributes are. Once it's retired, those get revealed so that people know when, they're, when they want to breed with that horse, what they're getting or not getting out of it. All right. So here are some important tips that he's put in this uh, that I think are important. So let's just go through these quickly. So horses can't race until age two, like I said. So you're going to have to wait for eight weeks. So every season is four weeks. So you have to wait eight weeks if uh, you have a newborn horse before it can race. Retired horses can no longer race, as I said. Horses are automatically retired at the age of eight. So after eight months of real time, that horse is going to be forced retired. And the horses do die eventually at about age 20, 25, the horse is going to die. And this is an important one here. Every horse has a preferred distance. Okay, so each of the races, if we go back into the game here and we look at the different races, there's all sorts of different um, kind of characteristics to each race. So if we look at this first one here, the firecracker trail claiming 75K. So Let's just look at some of the attributes here. It says what race course it's at. So it's soft. So this is a soft one. As I said before, some horses are better in soft. Some are better in, in, uh, in firm. And this is an 80% chance of rain here. So it's going to be more of a softer track today. So this is the distance here, eight furlongs. So it goes from, I think, about four furlongs to 12, I believe, are kind of the different distances. So as it's saying in this guide, every horse has a preferred distance, and it makes a big difference of how your horse is going to do if it's in its preferred distance. But you don't know, so you kind of have to try different ones out and figure out what your horse is good at, but that's an important part of the game. And I won't go through all the different types of races, but um, but there are guides to help you. and. To just to let you know, the game has a great learn to play here. It, it uh, will answer all the different questions that you have in the game. They do a really good job of having all the information here ready for you. Um, so if we go into uh, races again, just to kind of just finish this off over here, this is going to bring me into the tokenomics of the game here. So this purse is kind of the amount of money that can be won in this game is uh, eight, almost eight and a half thousand derby. If you want to race in this, if you want to race your horse, it will cost you two point six five thousand derby. But right now, in the for the first twelve seasons, they're incentivizing people to race through this crown gift and so if you do race this even if you come in last they're going to give you 225 crown and i'll talk a little bit more about that as well as we go through the tokenomics of the game speaking of i think it is about time that we talk about those tokenomics money 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 because why else would you be playing a crypto game if you were not a degen into knowing how you might be able to make money from it so going back to our old buddy here, Horse Racing Capital on Medium, he's got a great post that goes through the tokenomics of Photo Finish. As I mentioned, there are two tokens. There's the Derby token. Derby is the in-game token for PFL. It is not market traded. You can only buy it in the game. And if you have a bunch of Derby, 
You can only use it in the game. There's nowhere to go trade it on any exchanges or anything. So you can think of it like Xbox points. I don't play Xbox, but I guess that's a thing. Every derby, as I said before, for $1, you will get 80 derby. That price will not change. I guess maybe down the line, uh, if the game wants to change those the price of that, they will be able to. But essentially, it's a stable coin that stays at the same rate for now, at least. So players purchase derby with a credit card or crypto within the game. You can buy horses, pay entry fees, breed, and more within the game using derby. And the winner, every race, is paid in derby. Now, you can cash it out in the game for USDC if you want. The second token, and this is more of the DGEN token here that we're talking about, that is the crown token. And don't be fooled because there are a few crown tokens out there. Make sure you're getting the crown by third time games token if you are actually wanting to purchase this token. I know that it is available on the Ju Jupiter decks on Solana, so I know that's one place that you can get it. Obviously, we can look here at CoinGecko and see what the other ones are. I guess it's also on Orca. Looks like Orca and Jupiter are the places to go right now. Okay, so Crown is the utility token for the ecosystem. It is market traded, as I just mentioned, on Jupiter and Orca. And the price fluctuates, okay? This is, a, this is like any of the other crypto out there. The price is based on the demand. Now, what is the utility of the Crown? You can stake it in the game and receive 20% of all the racetrack profits. So essentially you can earn yield on your crown in the game. There are 250 million max crown. That is the max supply of crown is 250 million. 125 million go to the holders of the PFPs. Okay. So this takes me back to what I was talking about early in the video. These are the PFP. This is the collection here. There are 15,000 of these beauties, 10,000 male, 5,000 female. Each of these PFPs, as you can see here on Magic Eden, this little number here, remaining 2,418 crown. Each of these PFPs, this one has 2,413 crown. So each of these PFPs have a certain amount of crown value in them that you can get out by staking them. So if we go back into the game on the home page, we see they actually, this just went live. They were using a third party back in the day to do this. Now they created their own because that third party, I guess, went belly up or didn't want to operate anymore. So within the game, they have this new staking feature. So you grab your PFPs from Magic Eden or wherever else and here you can stake them in this game and get yourself some crown for staking them so you can either go to the open market and buy yourself some crown if you want or you can buy a pfp stake it and earn crown these pfps so like i said each of them has a different amount of crown in them and the ones for sale you don't know maybe someone had been staking them for a while and got some of the crown out Maybe they just get less crown because it was based on rarity. So just keep in mind, if you're going out to Magic Eden to buy yourself a photo finish PFP, each of them have a different amount of crown that you can get from them. So you want to make sure that you know how much crown you could actually get from these. And the staking is going to last for two years. So until 2025, you're going to be able to stake these and get all that valuable lovely crown out of them okay 53 million of the crown is going to the team that is a one-year cliff two-year vesting schedule 18 million went to early investors with a one-year vesting schedule 55 million is to juice the race purses at 4.2 million per season for the first 12 seasons so that's only for a full year. So that goes back to what I was talking about in the races that right now, if you're an early adopter of this game, if you want to race, you get some free crown out of it. So that was when I was talking about, well, if you go into this race, you'll get, even if you lose, you get this amount of crown. That's what this is. So that's only going to be happening for the first 12 seasons, which is 12 months. Not a very long time. That's free crown you're getting right now just to play the game that won't be there later on. And you can see here on this chart, this 
this is the vesting schedule and we are I don't know 923 so we're right here uh, so yeah obviously with horse racing one of the major things reasons people go to horse races is to bet on the horse race so there's also wagering of course in photo finish live which is what I was saying you don't need to own a horse you can just watch horse races get to know the horses and bet on them if you want that's definitely a way that you can play the game Okay, so why would you want to own crown and why is the crown of value going up and up and up and up? All right, let's look at the uh, value here. When they launched crown, it was at about five cents and it stayed that way for a long time until basically the end of August. And I noticed what the heck is happening with photo finish because crown is now up around 30 cents. Uh, and what is happening is well the game is getting popular and people are finding it and before a season starts a lot of people i think bought a crown because they realized well i can stake that crown in the game and then i can get some of the derby from the racetracks and that is right in the game right now there are six racetracks uh, five of which you can stake crown in and earn a portion of that racetrack's earnings. So I think right now it's about 20% goes to crown stakers and you earn derby for that. A lot of people before this season bought a lot of derby and they've been staking it. And you can see here, this is the amount, the total amount of staked crown in each racetrack. Um, there's about 5 million each. And then these are the amount of stakers in each one. Uh, about 450 ish um, so stakers and then this is the earned derby from each of these so these 404 stakers are splitting this amount of derby and these ones are splitting this amount of derby and so on and so forth so basically if you own crown and stake it in the game you'll get a bunch of derby and then you can use that derby to play the game to race with it to buy horses etc that's why crown is so valuable so right now crown is sitting at 21 cents as i said it started at five cents it went up almost to 40 cents the, I mean, I guess it peaked at 86. I never saw it at 86 uh, cents, but maybe I guess it touched it uh, very briefly. I did see it at 40 cents for, uh, for a little while, and now it's back down to 21. But the season is ongoing right now. Um, I, I think there's only eight days left. So season six, we're in season six right now, goes to September 25. Today is September 17th as I am recording this. So yeah, we've got about eight days left in this season. And then what will happen is all this derby will be distributed and you will there will be a window because right now you can't just go in and stake on the race course. You have to do that before the season starts. So what will happen is there'll be a window and people can restake their crown into these racetracks. And what I imagine, so I'm going to uh, predict here that this price of crown is going to go back up to probably 40 or wherever maybe it goes even higher this time before the season starts and then we'll probably see a dip so it's going to be an interesting thing to watch uh, for the price of crown is if before every season there's a spike and then a bit of a dip but I definitely see this going up as the game gets more and more popular and of course guys that is the crux of this like everything they've done here has been top-notch and the community is growing on on Twitter on X I follow a lot of people who are really into uh, photo finish a lot of people are building out stables I think there was a I wasn't able to attend but a couple of nights ago there was a live auction so this was it here people and I think this was community run in terms of people auctioning off horses instead of selling them in the marketplace there's a lot going on in the community I certainly if you're on discord recommend um, going into the photo finish discord it's one of the better discords in all of uh, the nft world very well run community is very active i've gone in there asked a bunch of questions people have been very helpful so highly re recommend doing that also make sure you follow photo finish live on twitter as well they are at photo finish game 
Uh, make sure you follow them. Speaking of the old Twitter slash X, uh, I noticed here that at Tex underscore Hoddle, he had a great post here. Uh, here's the list of photo finish community members on Twitter. Let me know if I'm missing anyone or if you want it to be added. So if you just go here, click here on the list and you can see all the members that he's put. So you can see it is a very, very good community and growing every day. It's amazing how uh, active everyone is, how helpful everyone is. Uh, it's just a really great community. Um, it's the best one I've come across so far uh, for Web3 Gaming for sure. So if you're interested in, in, in learning more about the game, definitely just go on to Twitter and follow uh, a bunch of people. That is a very helpful thing to do. Uh, a couple of people that I follow that I've noticed that I, have been very helpful is at Zai Sakar. Uh, Silo Snipin. Anyway, <laughs> uh, sorry for destroying your name. But anyway, uh, this is uh, a great one that I follow. He's only got 597 followers, but I follow him and I find his uh, content very helpful. Uh, he's big into the game. Another one that I follow is the Big Brain Stables. So basically they have been, uh, there's there's a couple of big, big time stables in there. If you know Big Brain Soul or Soul Big Brain, uh, he's, he's a big influencer in the Solana space. Anyway, he was in on this game early and he has built a huge stable of horses. And so a lot of the stables in the game will have their own Twitter as well. And uh, I mean, this stable they've been like last night there was a big race and i think he came in first second and third horses that he owned so uh big brain is a big one but i don't even think he's the biggest it's actually amazing so on the game you can go to stats see the top horses yesterday top owners yesterday um and then this is season six you can see the horses that are leading and the owners and Soulmate Stables right now is first. Big Brain is second. Look at them. Each almost 1.5 million derby. That's just in this season. In the last four weeks, their horses have earned them almost 20K in derby. And if you go into their stable, I mean, these guys have horses. <laughs> like, look at these are S. So S was the top horse in, uh, or I think S minus was the top horse for Gen Zero. And now, uh, so look, this is all the horses that this stable owns. But the other thing to keep in mind here, because I only have a couple of horses right now. My horses are terrible, if I'm being honest. I did buy some uh, foals that I'm, I'm excited to be able to race soon. But uh, the other thing to keep in mind is you don't need a top horse to win because there are different types of races. So if you have, say, like my horses are pretty crap this right now. Uh, I only have a couple of B plus horses and, um, you know, they race against other B plus horses. So, you know, you're in smaller races and stuff, but you can still win. You can definitely still win. You're not going up against the other horse. It's like real horse racing in that way. So don't feel like, oh, if I don't have a ton of money, I'm never going to win a race or whatnot. No, there's all sorts of different categories. All of these horses, no matter what they are, can win and can breed and, and create winners. And there is some luck involved in it in the breeding too. You know, we, we don't know what the you know, not just because you have two top horses doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to breed the next top horse. Um, they've done a really good job at making sure that uh, the game is fun for anyone at any level of uh, money that they put into it. And on that note, I just wanted to bring up, I saw this great thread here today on uh, Twitter again by Twinspired underscore R, Twinspired Racing. So he kind of just outlined what he did over the last few weeks. So he says, here's a perfect example of how the multifaceted gameplay and tokenomics of Photo Finish Game can be harnessed into a positive ROI whilst having a lot of fun. So Ares, he purchased it with 10,000 Derby in a claimer. So there are races called claimers in which you can actually claim one of the horses that races for a certain price. So he did that with this horse here, Ares, for 10,000 Derby. So that was about 125 bucks, okay? He's raced it 18 times over the last four weeks, so that's the season. He won four of those races, and he was on the podium 11 of those races. So to get into those 18 races, he spent about $262 worth of derby, and he made back 
from winnings $288 of Derby. So if you look at that, you're like, oh, that's not so great. He only made 26 bucks more than he put in. But because right now, what I said, that first 12 seasons, you're getting incentivized to play with crown. All the crown that he got at 20 cents, which is what it's worth right now, that was worth $336. Because of that crown incentive right now, which is why I think if you have any interest in this game, you should get in now before waiting until, it, until they don't do that anymore. Um, he's already made money on this horse. The horse has been paid back already in full, and he's made money on it already. So just goes to show you there are lots of different ways and different strategies to make money in this game right now. I highly recommend getting into it if you're interested. And, you know, I'm not a huge gamer. I really like horse racing. That's what got me into this one. But what's been amazing is just seeing Web3 crypto gaming in action and being like, oh, yeah. This can work. Now, obviously, one of the things I learned from this last bear run is I, you know, I fell in love with a lot of projects. I thought a lot of projects were, had grown, you know, the community had grown to such a huge size. I was like, well, this isn't going to disappear like some of the last bear runs because, you know, the last bear runs, you didn't have actual products that people were using. And most of those, you know, disappeared. So I have learned my lesson. So I'm not saying that photo finish is a guaranteed going to, you know, just grow, grow, grow. And crown is just going to go up, 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 up. But in terms of risk reward, this team has built an amazing game. The community is growing. It's early days. So I really do. For me, this is one of the major, this will be one of my major plays over the next couple of years. See where it goes. I'll be taking profits, obviously, as I go along too, just to make sure because you never know in crypto, things go up and then things go down no matter how good they look. But for me, this is an amazing example of what you can do in crypto and in, in crypto gaming. It makes me hugely, hugely bullish on uh, Web3 gaming moving forward, which is why, again, just a reminder, let me know what Web3 games are you guys playing? Which ones don't I know about? Because I need to get in on these communities. There's so much value right now getting in early on these games, as I found out from being an early adopter of Photo Finish. Anyway, guys, that is my video on Photo Finish Live. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you check out this game. And if you do, if you end up getting a horse, let me know. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at CryptoWiseGuys. And if you're part of the Photo Finish Live community, let me know and I will follow you back. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you found it useful. If you're part of the photo finish game, do me a favor, please like the video, send it out, share it with people so that more people can find both our channel and the photo finish game. All right, guys, until next time, my name is Milton saying over and out.